am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Today is Wednesday, January the 13th, 2021. And today's conversation, our commentary will be discuss Ivanka Trump. Last week, uh, Ivanka became a trending subject matter that she was trying to invite herself to get an invitation to attend Joe Biden's inauguration. The pure audacity of this woman to be so self-centered, to have no empathy, no respect, no integrity. But of course, I don't expect it because her last name is Trump and she is the eldest daughter to Donald J. Trump. But she actually was trying to go uh, get an invitation to the inauguration. Let me read the tweet. Ivanka plans to attend Biden's inauguration to save political career. Ivanka is worried that her promising political career is in jeopardy. And she's doing whatever she can to save her reputation. One, political career. Two, reputation. And all of this for Ivanka Trump? Girl, please. And promising career, political career. Who promised you, Daddy? Nepotism, Barbie. Go take a seat. Just pack your things and flee. Preferably out of the country. But it's been stated that she and her husband have bought a home near the Miami area, and it's been speculated that she's trying to hold on to a political career and that she may actually run for a Senate seat against Marco Rubio in the state of Florida. So this is why she, as I said, she's trying to savage her political career, her reputation. And I read today, because I was trying to prepare for this video where I saw it says, Trump is angry at Ivanka and Jared after she spoke out about going to attend attending Biden's inauguration. So therefore, I guess the first time nepotism Barbie has actually disappointed daddy. Daddy is angry with his prized possession, Ivanka. Because we all know she's his favorite. It's, it's been stated numerous and numerous times. One, this woman only had a senior advisor role in the Trump administration because Trump was her dad or is her dad. Not because she should have been in that administration. Now it's being said that she would not attend. That seems to be the latest. And I do hope because, again, just the audacity alone was very appalling and it really shows no respect and that she only is concerned like her father and she is her father's daughter is only about herself that she's got in her mind that she has the potential to have a political career your dad was impeached in the first term we have the house of Representatives currently on the floor many saying that they will vote to impeach of course that Republicans who are just complete hypocrites, many of them is saying no. But at this moment, right now, your father is about to be impeached a second time. There's nothing of any integrity. There's no decent legacy of the Trump administration. They are corrupt. Your dad incited violence to our nation's capital. You stood there at the rally and watched what was going on. You also had a tweet that said, American patriots. You called these domestic terrorists American patriots, Ivanka Trump. And you sit here with the audacity to say you want to go to Biden's inauguration. You think you should have an opportunity to, to have a political career? Let me read the tweet that you 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 uh, 
tweeted on January the 6th, 2021, a week ago today, that you deleted because you was called out for your hypocrisy. Americans, patrons, any security breach or disrespect to our law enforcement is unacceptable. The violence must immediately stop. Please be peaceful. That came from Ivanka Trump. But after she was called out by a news reporter, she deleted the tweet. Because she called domestic terrorists American patriots. And now you trying to, or you were trying to actually attend the Biden administration inauguration? You have no shame. You just, again, you are Trump's daughter. You have no shame. You actually have no shame. Five people died. A police officer died. There is blood on your father's hand and because you two have sat complicit to everything he has done, you two have blood. So there's no reputation to be savaged here. The best thing you can do is go live a private citizen's life. And, and also help your family members, your dad, your, your siblings, your in-laws, just go be private citizens. You have Trump Tower. You had a previous business. Go back to that, to that lifestyle. You're not wanted. You've never been wanted. And you need to know that. That no one has elected you. And as it has been stated, many didn't elect your daddy either. And your daddy was not reelected for a second term. It's on a matter of time before he is removed because I do believe that our officials, our congressmen and women, even some senators, Republican senators who once in their lifetime get a spine and have, have some integrity that they have lacked for the past four years because many of them, they turned a blind eye for four years. A deaf ear, they look the other way, they swept it under the road. And even like now, with what went on in our nation's capital, they're still trying to act as if it didn't happen, but we it was lived in real time. The evidence is there. And there's a we it's about accountability. In Ivanka Trump, you need to have some accountability. You need to just go on and live a private life because. You are not wanted just like your dad. You, you, you were never elected to a political position. You were given a title in a role. You can you and your husband can even pass security. Your dad made the people that was over doing security give you all a pass. You can even get through the Security, intelligence, passing, and you want to be a political person in the future? We don't ever want to see any Trumps hold a political role. That's your dad, you, your brothers, your sister, or any of your in-laws, or your husband. Corruption is over. So... I'm glad to, I see that uh, it's now been stated that she will not attend. Let me just read, read that real quick. Ivanka Trump is not expected to attend President-elect Biden's inauguration next week, a White House official tells. It's not clear that she was invited. Last week, Biden told me in a press conference that President Trump, President Trump wasn't Welcome. So therefore, if your dad is not welcome, sweetheart, guess what? Nep nepotism, Barbie, neither are you. No Trump. That's you, your brothers, your stepmommy, third wife, trophy wife. Melania is not welcome. Your, your sister-in-laws, the girlfriend, to Don Jr., the Trumps are not welcome. So the best thing you can do is go try and live a private life. 
It also was said that Trump was angered that the fact Ivanka and Jared was wanting to attend. And I'm sure he was. I guess that's the first time his little nepotism Barbie favorite daughter could do no wrong actually disappointed daddy. I guess hurt his feeling, but she is his, his daughter. She is Donald Trump, or as her aunt has said, mini Donald. Like him, she only cares about herself. She's on a agenda, and like him, doesn't care what it takes. Cause that's what was said. She's willing to do whatever she needs to so that she can attend the inauguration. Ivanka was at the Ivanka was at the pre sedition rally with her father. She does not deserve to be at the inauguration. I don't care what excuse they use, say she is a security risk. That's just a tweet that was tweeted. Many took to Twitter to oppose Ivanka attending. That is complete disrespect. She has been so accustomed and used to self-entitlement because she's rich, because she's Trump's daughter, because her name is Ivanka Trump, like her dad and like the Republican Party, they so used to the corruptions that they have been doing and getting away with no accountability, not being held with responsibility of their corrupt actions that she felt that she can just invite herself, invoke herself, and actually attend Biden's inauguration. Girl, bye. Bye, Ivanka Trump. Go have a private life. But we all know the state of New York, there is pending investigation against your dad. It's been said that he's probably going to try to pardon his children, which is yourself, Ivanka, and Eric, and Don Jr. because of all the corruption that all of you have played a part in. The best thing you can do is be quiet. Your little time of parading around the world, having a microphone, you think just because you're able to get up and speak, that you are somebody important. You're just Donna J. Trump's daughter, Ivanka. Sit down, be quiet, and leave the Bidens alone. You are not wanted, just like your dad. You have never been elected to a political role, and I hope you never have the opportunity to have a political role in these United States of America. I am. Lamarcia Lewis. Let's talk.